Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, myself Sultan. Today we will walk through how to set up Facebook server side tracking on our website. The server side tracking is advanced level task, so you have to watch this video very carefully, mindfully and being all eyes. In the beginning, let me show you a picture that will give us a basic idea about Facebook server side tracking. Let's go. Look at this picture carefully. We need some tools to set up Facebook server side tracking. Let's see what's that. First of all, we need ZTM web container and a ZTM server container. And then we need GA4 tag on our ZTM web container and a GA4 client tag on ZTM server container. And we have to connect between these two tags with a request URL. And this URL we will found on a cloud platform whether it will be google cloud platform or others and then we will set up facebook conversion api tag on ztm server container through what we will send all of our events to facebook server container and in this picture uh, ignore this ztm4 tag uh, for uh, google analytics servers we will only set up on facebook server side tracking i have wrote some steps to set up server side tracking and that is create ztm web container create ztm server container using step io or google cloud server i'm going to use uh, step.io because it's very useful and it's made only for server side tracking then send data from web container to server container then configure tag trigger variable and client in server container then send data from server ztm to facebook server finally test and debug i have already created ztm web container let's see here this is my google tag manager web container dukanpat web now i have to create ztm server container so let's create a ztm server container go to google tag manager within your web container go to admin section we are seeing there are two parts account parts and container parts we have to click on container part plus icon then container name and title your container i'm going to entitle it dokan part server and select from here server because we are going to create server container click on server and then click here create it's asking us to select our tagging server if we click here automatically provision tagging server then it will take us to google cloud platform i don't want to create my tagging server on google cloud platform so i'm going to select here manually provision tagging server as i said i will create tagging server on step.io because that is made only for server side tagging now it gave us container config so keep it up and now we are going to create an container on step.io so click here step.io enter this website now we have to create an account on step.io see here the easiest way to server side tracking so uh, login and sign up if you have no account on step.io then you have uh, it will ask to create an account i have already created an account after creating that account it will take you to here and you should note here that this platform is a paid platform but it allows us to use it for free for a certain limitation like see here this is their pricing they have some packages a free pro business enterprise we are going to create a free container that will give us 10,000 requests one cloud cyber a custom loader global cdn no credit card required for our uh, free container but you can purchase any package according to your business i'm going to create a free container let's go i scroll down and click here create container entitle your container i entitle it dokan part and then you have to put here container configuration then uh, go back to your google tag manager and see here container configuration then copy it and paste here that code okay then server's location uh, select here your server location i'm going to select here uh, ap east singapore then create container okay our container is ready then continue with free plan 
Okay, then click here back to SGTM container. See here, the convert it's running. That means uh, it's deploying on our server container we have created on our Google Tag Manager. You can also upgrade from here, upgrade your container. Now scroll down and see here tagging server URLs. Uh, we will need a while later this URL. Now go to Google Tag Manager, close this tab. Now go to admin section and click here container settings and see here server container URLs. Click add URL and put here server container URLs. Go to step and uh, copy this URL and paste here. Okay, then save. Now go to workspace and submit this version. Publish. Now let's go back to that picture again. We have created our tagging server and also created ZTM server container. Now we have to set up a GA4 client on our uh, server container. Let's go to Google Tag Manager and go to clients. You can see here we have a client named GA4 by default. So we don't have to create any clients naming GA4. Now we have to create a GA4 tag on our uh, web container. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and I'm going to duplicate it and go to the web container. So open it, do convert web container, go to tags, click here new and then entitle it J4 base code and click on tag configuration and select from here J4 configuration and put here your J4 measurement ID. So go to your Google Analytics and copy your measurement ID and paste here. Okay, then check this option send to server container and then put here server container URL. So go to step again and copy from here your tagging server URL, copy it and paste here. Then set up your triggering. I'm going to set up is all pages and then save. Now submit this version and publish. So you can see here we have created our web container and set up a GA4 tag on our web container and we have uh, connected this two tag with the URL that we have found on step.io. Now we have to set a Facebook conversion API tag on our server container. So go to Google tag server container. To set up Facebook conversion API tag we have to create a variable at first. Go to variables and then from built-in variables go to configure and select this client name okay it has come here now let's create a triggers click here new and then click here trigger configuration and select from here custom then click here some events then select from here client name in this table select here equals and write here your client name and that was ga4 then entitle it client name j4 and then save now let's create a tag for facebook conversion api click on tags then click on new and then click here tag configuration now we have to choose from here a template uh, for facebook conversion api unfortunately there is no template for facebook conversion api so we have to go to template gallery and search here writing facebook copy there is then template conversions api tag by facebook incubator we're going to use it so click here then add to our space then click here add now it's asking us to put here our pixel id so go to your events manager and select your pixel i have created this pixel for my website and select from here settings tab then you will find here database id that means your pixel id so click here to copy and then paste here then put here api access token go to again your events manager and scroll down go to conversions api section and then generate access token click here and copy this token go to google tag manager and paste here access token then put here test event code when our server-side tracking setup will be completed we will need to 
check and test it is it working properly or not so put here test event code go to events manager again and go to test events tab select from here confirm that your server's events are set up correctly and then you will find here test event code so copy it and then paste here okay then select triggering and the trigger will be client name gfo that we have created a while ago so select it and then save the tag name will be conversions api tag okay then click save okay we have created our tags and now submit this version and then publish let's submit your web container again submit here and then publish let's see again that picture we have set up all of this and we have set up also facebook conversion api tag now our tagging setup is complete so what we have to do now we have configured tag trigger variables and client in server container now we have to send data from uh, server gtm to facebook server now it's time to check and test let's go go to your google tag manager server container preview mode and also go to your uh, gtm web container preview mode then put here your website url and connect and we should also go to our events manager let's see here if you go to overview then we will see just one activity that is page view and uh, that came from browser side now we will see here that our page view event is coming from browser side and server side together okay this is our website debugger is connected go to tag assistant and click here continue then we can see here our facebook pixel base code is fired and gf4 base code also fired if you go to our gtm server container then you can also see here our conversion api tag is fired one time and it received a event that names page view so this page view event is should go to our events manager also let's go to events manager and go to test events and go to confirm that your website events are set up correctly click here and then put here our website url and open website okay let's visit a product let's go back to events manager you can see here the page view event is came from server side and came from browser side together so viewers we can say our facebook server side tracking is set up properly completely and now we have to configure uh, other events like view content add to cart checkout and purchase and so so i have just showed you in this video how to set up server side tracking and if you have any doubt about any part of this video then let me know i will clear your doubt i am a professional data driven marketer i'm providing these services google ads facebook ads google tag manager google analytics facebook pixel conversion api and server side tracking if you need any service uh, about one of them then you can place order on my fiverr account or on my upwork account otherwise you can also contact me on my whatsapp number and on this gmail so that's it today thank you so much See you in another video. Until then, goodbye.